Hey, if you want to turn on or off the two-step verification on the PS5 Slim, first of all, you have to go into the right upper corner and open the settings. From here, just be sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi or normal internet connection. Then go into the users and accounts. From here, go to the account and go into the security. Now you have to scroll down and tap on the two-step verification. So when you go for the status, you can actually turn it off by tapping on the disable and then clicking OK. Now, as you can see, it's turned it off. But if you want to activate this feature, just go here one more time and you've got two options. You can go to the text message and from here you have to input your phone number. So if you input your phone number and you want to use the two-step verification, you will have the messages on your phone. You will receive messages on your phone and you will have input codes are right here. You can also use the Authenticator app and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's select the Authenticator app and from here we have to download on our smartphone or tablet for example this kind of the application. So take a look, here I am with the Android phone but it will also work on the iOS devices, don't worry. And you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi or mobile data on your phone. Go into the Play Store and from here you have to download uh, any Authenticator application, so I can recommend you actually the Google one. So if you find this Google Authenticator app, just click Install button. Now wait until the download will be finished, and now, now we can open it. Click to get started and select your account. You have to select the same account that is actually logging into your <coughs> PlayStation. So and that's how it looks in my case. And from here, we have to scan the QR code. And to get this QR code, we have to grab our controller. We have to click X and we have to scroll down uh, with arrows. When we have this code on this phone, we have to click in the right bottom corner, click on the plus, then tap to scan a QR code, accept permission to your camera, and now put this frame into this QR code. So just like this. And now uh, you will be successfully added to the uh, to the application. And as you can see, here we have the codes. So these codes we have to actually input right here. So grab your controller and scroll down with the arrows until you will be selected with this small frame. And then click X and here you have to input this code. One of this code input right here. So in my case, it will be the first one. and then click done or simply R2. Then go below, select activate. In my case, uh, I just input the wrong code, so I have to repeat. If you want to erase, just use your square. Let's confirm one more time. Okay, and now everything is fine. So here we've got the backup codes and you will also have the separate section after login. So you don't even have to take the screenshot of it right now or take the photo, but you, of course, you can do this. And here we, we have to select that we recorded this backup codes for future use. So click done. <clears throat> and now, as you can see, uh, we have to log in into our PS uh, account because once you perform the two-step verification, you will log out of all devices. So in my case, uh, I'm going to actually use the PS application. If you don't know how to use it, I have also separate video on my channel where I can show you how to do this. So if you have this PlayStation account, you have to just log in with your or with your mail address, the same that you want to use on the PlayStation 5 Slim. Click Next. And from here, just click to input your password. And I'm going to do this out of the camera. OK, and when you do this, you just have to click to sign in just right here. And here you can save the password to Google. I'm going to skip this one. And here I have the verification code, so I have to move into my uh, application to this one and that's the code that I have to get. There we go, click to verify.
And here we are, uh, accept this stuff, click next to link console into our phone. Yeah, it was in the settings, so tap on the settings icon. And from here, uh, we have to go into the scan QR code to link console to the application. So this is like this, click to confirm. Okay, never mind. Uh, tap to scan the QR code and then just scan the QR code that appears right here. Click to approve. Click OK. And after a few seconds, you will be successfully logged in. Here we can also input um, the passcode. And uh, also we can turn on checkout password for purchase. Click OK to confirm. And as you can see, right now it is finished. So that's all. Right now, please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.